I think it's Roger Penrose that think that information can bleed through from before the Big Bang to the after the Big Bang. Yeah. Is that, uh, is the Big Bang uh, like a full erasure of the hard drive or is there some information that could bleed through? Yeah, I mean, so, so Roger is among the most creative thinkers of the last hundred years, yeah. rightly won the Nobel Prize for his insights into uh, singularities in space time mm -hmm. that we know to afflict our mathematical solutions of black holes and the Big Bang and so forth. And um, he has an enormously fertile imagination. And, and I mean that in the most positive sense. And um, so he has put forward this idea, this conformal cyclic cosmology, I mm -hmm. think is the, uh, the official title, although I could be getting that wrong. I can't say that I've studied it. I have seen lectures on it. I don't find it convincing as yet. It feels like it's being uh, built to find a solution as opposed to sort of more naturally emerging. Um, maybe Roger would say otherwise, and I don't mean to in any way um, uh, cast aspersions on the work. It's, it's vital and interesting and people are thinking about it. I don't consider it as close a competitor to say the inflationary theory as for instance, the stuff that Paul Steinhardt has put forward. But again, you've got, you gotta keep an open mind in this, in this business when there's so much that we don't yet understand. I mean, it is wild to think that information could survive something like that. Just like it is wild to imagine that information could escape a black hole, for example. Or it just seems like by construction, these things are supposed to not bleed out anything. But one of the challenges in all these theories is when we talk about a singularity, has this real sexy right. term, the singularity. Yeah. But a singularity is is in more ordinary language, a, 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 a physical system where the mathematics breaks down. Mm -hmm. It's nonsensical. Mm -hmm. It's like taking one divided by zero. You put that into a calculator and it says E, error, right? It does not make sense, doesn't compute. Yeah. And, and so it's very hard to make definitive statements about things like the Big Bang or about black holes until we cure the mathematical singularities. And there are some who claim that in certain regimes, the singularities have been cured. I don't by any means think that there's consensus on these ideas. So when one talks about information sort of bleeding through the Big Bang, you've really got to make sure that the equations have no singularities. You talk about cyclic cosmology, you've got to make sure that the equations don't have any singularities as you go from say one cycle to the next. Now, some of the proponents of these theories claim that they have resolved these issues. I, I don't think that there's a general sense that that is the case as yet, but it could be that, look, I life is so short that I, I haven't had the time to deeply delve into all the mathematical intricacies of all the ideas that have been put forward. If I did that, I'd never do anything else. But that, that's what the issue is. And of course, it's just math. There may be holes. <laughs> there, may be, uh, there may be gaps in our, our understanding in the way we're modeling physical reality. Well, that, well, that's the point. In fact, when you said I was about to jump in and say modeling, but you got there first, and it's exactly the right point. We're talking about the universe here, yeah. right? And the, how, do you, how do you talk about the universe with a straight face mathematically? And the way you do it is you, you simplify you throw away those characteristics of the universe that you don't think are vital to a full understanding. And so we're gonna get to a point, and people are starting to, where we've gotta go beyond those simplifications. And so cosmology has, for a long time, modeled the universe in the most simplest terms, homogeneous, isotropic. It has just a few parameters that describe it, the average density of mass and energy and so forth. We have to go beyond those simplifications, and that will require putting these things on computers. We're not going to be able to do calculations there. So much as astrophysics has gone beyond many simplifications to now give really detailed simulations of star systems and galaxies and so forth, we're going to have to do that with cosmology. And people are starting to do that today.